it's not on yet. No, 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 no. Okay, so quickly give you a little background. Uh, people have been contacting us over the last day. No, I'm just doing it. I'm rather people from out of the province. Uh, so each councillor and the mayor have something called CMS, they're contactless. So if Mrs. Jones calls in, we enter it into the computer. The only access they have is through this office. Someone has went in, has taken the information, city property, and have given it to the SINCE campaign. And they've used it for a mailer. You, you saw the tweets a couple days ago and all of a sudden it just happened in rapid fashion. People that uh, I have in writing on numerous emails that we'll show you, saying that we've never contacted City Hall outside of the mayor's office. How's Karen Stins getting my information? Okay. Um, will they come? Yeah, they're going to come soon. That's cool. So we could just never go over that. And like, so we've contacted have the you police. Contact the police have just uh, left. Uh, they contacted the uh, city manager's been there, head of HR, head of IT. Um, and we're going to find out who extracted the information. And have you contacted the states? No, me? that's not our job. That's up to the city manager. Uh, it's up to the integrity commission and the police. Okay, Councillor Ford, uh, what can you tell us about this situation in regarding to email contact lists being taken from the mayor's office? That, that's correct. The, uh, every councillor, including the mayor, has confidential email contact lists. Uh, somehow, one way or another, the Karen Stintz campaign has received uh, the contact list, which is confidential, and it's illegal to take uh, information out of anywhere out of City Hall here. Uh, numerous emails are coming through, uh, tweets have been coming through, saying that we have not contacted anyone but the mayor's office, and how is Karen Stintz receiving my email and sending me email fundraising letters. So that, that's a very serious concern when a breach of security has happened, not just here in the mayor's office for any councillor that has their con contact information. And uh, we have contacted the police. We have reported it to the police and had a meeting with them. We uh, had a meeting with the city manager uh, along with the head of HR and IT. And we're gonna uh, find out who extracted the information. When did the phone call start coming in? Uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, I believe uh, it happened Wednesday, I believe. I guess uh, Karen Stintz's office sent out an email blast. Uh, not only that, uh, it's illegal to ask city staff for donations. Uh, they contacted 33 members, senior city staff, for donations. Uh, Karen Stintz's campaign has. Uh, again, uh, there's been a breach all over the place here, and I think uh, Karen Stintz's campaign, along with Karen Stintz, has uh, a lot of questions to answer how she received this uh, list. Council, do you have any idea how they got their hands yeah. into the uh, we, we don't know, uh, because the only people that would be able to have access to uh, the mayor's office is the IT, and when the office was split uh, back in November uh, 18th, there was approximately 20 employees. Uh, two or three of them are not uh, at City Hall any longer, but half the half the uh, mayor's staff went over to the deputy mayor's office. Mm -hmm. So someone, and I'm not pointing fingers at anyone, someone has received the information and has given or sold this information to the Care Instance campaign. Is it possible to some an internal leak from inside the mayor's own office? Someone, uh, I, I'm not too sure. We're narrowing down the time frame. We know from September the 24th, moving forward, 2013, up till today, someone has extracted this information and has handed it uh, over to the Stintz campaign. Have you at all been in, t in contact with the Stintz campaign? No, that, that's not my job. It's up for the police to contact uh, the Stintz campaign. I know the Integrity Commissioner has contacted uh, the Stintz campaign about sending uh, fundraising letters to 33 senior staff members asking for donations. Uh, again, that's uh, breaking the rules to say the least. So say some of the numbers here again, so how many people are you saying were contacted? Um, in we terms we of don't know the exact numbers. We will be asking uh, our, our list of tens of thousands of supporters to email us if they've been contacted by the Karen Stints and we'll be able to track down the time frame when we believe this information was uh, stolen out of the, the mayor's office. You say you've talked to police. 
That's correct. When did you meet the police? Did you go to College Street? No, they, they were here uh, over the last hour and uh, we've handed over all the information, uh, people who contacted us and uh, we'll, we'll get down to the bottom of it. There's always a trail when it comes to uh, emails. What have they told you in regard to consequences or...? or They're going to investigate it, that's what they've told us and that's... Uh, so, so why, right why take it to the police rather than have it? In because when you when you when you have stolen information, it'd be walking it'd be like walking out with, with furniture. It'd be like walking out with your computer. If I went down to the media outlet downstairs and I stole your information off your computer, you're darn right you'd be calling the police. Council, what's yes. uh, that's uh, legal, but what about internally from a city hall point of view? What are the repercussions? In well, that's going to be up to the police again. You, you cannot steal information. Uh, and send it uh, to to people that have never heard from you. We, we had a call from a person in Calgary that kind of clinched it, saying I've never contacted anyone in the city of Toronto outside the mayor's office. How is uh, Councillor Stintz have my information? I'm calling the CRTC complaining, and uh, the gentleman just went off on a, a pretty upset but do you know, uh, rant. Do you know are there any rules internally at City Hall or in terms of campaigning that would... There yes. Be some sort of fine or very, very well. I don't know about the punishment. There's very strict rules that you cannot use uh, your contact contact list. More importantly, <coughs> you cannot send senior staff. The city manager got a letter. Everyone, senior staff, got a letter uh, from the Sins campaign asking for donations. That there alone, you've broken every code of conduct there is. So, in saying that, uh, I think we have a serious issue at hand here of. Uh, of theft, and uh, I, I can't tell you how many rules have broken on this one, but uh, I guess uh, Karen Stintz and the campaign has to start at answering some questions here, and uh, eventually we'll get down to the bottom of it. So what's okay, sort of, what sort of legal charge would there be? The theft, as far as, as far as I know, receiving uh, uh, property that has been stolen off uh, City Hall here. So I'll, I'll leave it at that, and I'm um, sure we'll keep you updated. What if, we, what if it was a third party just using the, uh, the, 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 the Stintz's information? It could be a, a, third, uh, a third party that have come in here and have given it or sold it, one of the two, to the Stintz campaign. But it's very clear it came from the mayor's office. And we're going to narrow down the dates. And we're going to narrow down the, 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 the suspect. Okay. So you Thank had, you. When did you meet with the city manager? Thank you. In the last hour. So the city manager was with the police as well? Uh, no, the city manager uh, left. The police came in. Uh, head of HR was with uh, were with the police with us. Okay. Councilor, can I just ask you one last question? Uh, that's Councilor Doug yeah, Ford just uh, taking some final questions here. Uh, we understand that the media address the people, address the media. Media. He'll, be, he'll be addressing uh, the media on June the 30th. It seems as and uh, uh, look forward to that. Thank you. Acquired these email contact lists, and uh, he has contacted the integrity.